Bone Lab Fusion is a mod for Bone Lab that a shocking amount of people are unaware is even being worked on. Bone Lab's most disappointing aspect is the lack of multiplayer, but Bone Lab Fusion is shaping up to be a truly complete multiplayer mod. You may be familiar with Entanglement, the multiplayer mod for Boneworks, that doesn't work anymore by the way, and if you remember that mod, you probably remember that it wasn't that good. I don't, I don't, I don't see you yet. Talk. I'm a speedrunner, I'm a speedrunner, I play Bone Lab for a living. Now to be fair to little old Entangle Flop, the core systems of Boneworks didn't really allow a multiplayer mod to be that good. But things are different this time. Bone Lab's core systems work a lot better for a multiplayer mod, and I believe the best way to see this is by comparing two of the current multiplayer mods. Both made by Not 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 Swipes, by the way, he does a great job with all of these, please go show him some love. Multiplayer mockup uses entanglement code and looks like this. <laughs> Bone Lab Junction takes advantage of the new Bone Lab systems and looks like this. In Bone Lab Junction, the players are actual physics objects. This means that avatar stats actually matter, and so does everything else that's physics based. This means you can do cool shit like this. Comparing Junction to Mockup is a night and day difference. Trying to drag a nobody around in Mockup when it isn't physics based leads to things like light outpowering heavy, which is essentially like if Mike Tyson was outpowered by somebody's adopted kitten. Mockup also just has some generally weird issues like this. So if Junction is so cool and awesome and cool and great and awesome and cool, then what makes Fusion so special? Simply put, user experience. You see, Junction is really cool and awesome and cool and awesome and cool and really great and awesome and cool and all, but it's not perfect. It has sync problems, avatar bugs, frame rate drops, and a couple of other issues. Bone Lab Fusion, on the other hand, is planned to release in a fully finished state. Fusion does a lot of things you'd expect an official multiplayer mode to have. Things like there being enough carts for the race on Monogon Motorway. The player ragdolling on death, mind dive having enough mine carts for everyone, name tags that match the Bone Lab font and have custom colors, collision sync, holster sync, all of this stuff sync, even the gotcha ball sync can appear grayed out if you already have the item unlocked. Like, holy shit! Even crazier though, the mod currently plans to add quest support, which will lead to a gigantic jump in players. For better or for worse. If Fusion actually winds up being everything we hoped for, then Bone Lab will suddenly have a hugely important role in the future of VR. Bone Lab is currently one of the best selling quest games of all time and has a massive user base. Bone Lab is currently a game that people who never played Boneworks seem to enjoy a lot more than people who have played Boneworks. This usually comes down to the fact that the campaign isn't as good as the one in Boneworks, so new users don't know what they're missing. The reason the campaign is so bad in Bone Lab is because Bone Lab focuses its attention towards mod support. The problem with making a game all about modding without multiplayer is that most people who like to heavily mod a game with custom maps and items usually want to play it in multiplayer. Bone Lab has a very Gmod style of modding where it's the main focus of the game, but if Gmod never had multiplayer, then suddenly the best parts of Gmod are gone. No more TTT, no more prop hunt. And to look at it on an even wider scale, if Gmod never had multiplayer, then suddenly that means Gmod videos would likely never exist either. Biggest example being no more Vanos. Because Bone Lab isn't multiplayer, all of these things never happened. Bone Lab should have lived up to the insane expectations that was set for it but it could only ever do that if it had multiplayer or a better campaign. The campaign from Boneworks is currently being ported to Bone Lab via Labworks. By the way, they're doing an absolutely insane job. Please do yourself a favor and go play what they have done so far if you haven't already. Because the campaign is already being taken care of, all that's left is the multiplayer. If Fusion does work on Quest, then we could be on the verge of a huge wave of interest in VR, yet somehow only around 3,000 people even know this mod is being developed. This also means all of the disappointed Boneworks players will have a reason to come and give Bone Lab another chance. Imagine being able to play the entire Boneworks campaign with a group of your friends. And I don't mean play it with them and it sinks kind of. I mean throwing your friend in the annoying ass pit on runoff. I mean you and a friend playing with the physics on museum. I mean you having the ability to seriously play the game together with your buddy who only has a quest who you can help up ledges and kill omnis together with. This mod alone is the only reason I think buying a PSVR 2 might be a bad idea. 
if this mod doesn't work on PSVR 2, which it very likely won't, especially since we don't even know if Bone Lab is coming to the PSVR 2, then it might be best to stick with a Quest or a Deckard when that releases because this mod looks so good. I remember watching all of those Gmod YouTube videos every night, wishing I had a PC to play Gmod on, or hope that it would come to the PS3, which obviously never happened. I believe Fusion can give that feeling to a whole new generation of people. Instead of little Timmy begging for a shitty $50 laptop to play Gmod on, kind of, they ask for a quest to play Fusion on. The difference this time is that instead of never getting that console port of Gmod that I always hoped for, little Timmy will get his console port on his quest too. He will have access to all of the mods he can ever ask for, and he will get the experience that a lot of us could have only dreamed of back then. Fusion is much more than an awesome mod. It's what Source and Gmod was for people without PCs. A reason to get one. And what VR needs more than ever right now is a reason to get into it. The hardware has been good enough since the CV1. Bone Lab on the original Rift is just as much of Bone Lab as it is on the Quest 2, and just as much as it is on the Index. What VR needs to finally go mainstream is software, because honestly, the most important piece of VR technology that's released in the past three years has been the Quest 2. VR is affordable, it's easy to use now, and it's completely capable of providing an amazing experience. All we need is for those experiences to be made in the first place. This mod is more than just Gmod and VR. It's VR's chance to finally get the attention it deserves. If any of you would like to receive occasional updates on the development of Fusion, I have included a link to their Discord server where the testers show off some previews and Lakatraz, the lead developer of the mod, gives some occasional updates on the development of Fusion. I'll also be streaming some Bone Lab Junction on February 12th at 3pm EST, which is this Sunday, so if you'd like to see what multiplayer is currently looking like in Bone Lab, feel free to stop on by. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you want to see some fusion challenges when it finally launches. Or if you want to stop me from killing Mater from Cars, because that little asshole has it coming. All of the fusion footage from this video was provided by the fusion testers who were streaming it to their discord while I sat there awkwardly recording them. They also answered some questions and things, which is why I was able to get so much info for this video, so thank you guys for that. Final note, Lakatraz, if you're watching this for some weird reason, thank you for your work on fusion and entanglement, I can't wait to make a fuck ton of money off of it, so if you ever want some, just let me know and I'll slide you a dime and maybe a nickel or two. God, what if this mod just like, turns out to be shit and this entire video is just like, the biggest joke of all time. I mean, like, as long as it's better than Junction, realistically, and it works on Quest, then it can't be, but, but what if, right? What if Lakatraz just gets bored one day, he sees his video, and he's just like, you know what, I fucking hate Mini Battle Op, and then he just decides to make the mod completely dog shit out of pure spite. I mean, like, unrealistic, yeah, but, but how unrealistic? Yeah, I should stop talking, I'm giving this motherfucker ideas.